The warden said he hoped I was pleased, then ordered the same guards to kill Edward as well. Make it look good for the general, he told them in a raspy voice. One of the guards hit a red button that was mounted onto the prison wall. Then a dying spike passion came out of a trapdoor in the roof. Edward didn't have long to scream before it stabbed him in the middle of his face. The spike then retracted and there wasn't much left of Edward's face. I was screaming on the inside but all I could do was just play along. There I was, standing in the middle of the blocked off part of the prison still in shock of what had just happened. The warden walked up to me and handed me a letter. It had orders from the Emperor to report to Knappert Stronghold immediately to ready the Royal Light Squad for an attack on the rebels. I read the words at the bottom of the letter that shook me to the core. Sincerely, Emperor Tottenham Hat. We excited the blocked off room and into the outdoors where he led me into some small Indian sheds. I couldn't recognize any of the Indians there since they were all covered with tarps. The warden lifted a tarp off of one and there was Percy. He had the same signs and logos that I had seen on Gordon, and he had a scar across his right cheek and had a goatee. The warden then told me that Percy would be the one to take me to Knapford Stronghold. He also said that Gordon was unavailable due to him going on a separate mission after he dropped me off at Kildane Prison earlier. I boarded Percy and the warden saluted then said, Long leave the Emperor. I saluted back to keep up my act and with a few spins of Percy's wheels we started down the line. While leaving Kildane Prison, somehow he sensed a small tear trickle down my cheek. He seemed to see through me as he said, You are not the general. If you ever heard you feel pain. He then told me the truth that he is secretly a rebel spy. And so I told him the tale of who I am, how he got there. We started talking about possibilities of ways out of this nightmare. I told him about the orders about the attack from the Empire. He told me the rebel base was located at Normandy. So we decided to head there to warn them about the attack. As we traveled, Percy told me the story of what had happened to Tubby. He used to transport goods for the Empire. Most of the time he didn't know what he was carrying. He didn't like his job one little bit. So one day he uncoupled his train in the middle of the main line and started to head as far away as he could from the Empire. He soon found and joined the rebels, betraying the Empire, and became a rebel spy. A week after Toby had joined the rebellion's side, Emperor Topham had found out about Toby's betrayal and sent his best troops to hunt him down, Gordon being one of them. One of the rebels informed Toby that the Empire was hunting him down. Toby decided to leave Moraby to keep the rebels' hideout from getting found out. Edward would take care of Henry to while Toby was gone. They said goodbye and Toby departed from Norham being headed down the main line. While Toby was traveling down the track, suddenly he heard a whistle in the distance and out of nowhere Gordon started to charge at Toby. Toby reversed backwards down the line in a desperate attempt to escape the Empire while Gordon was catching up but while going down the line Toby crashed into a rock and derailed and gave Gordon enough time to crash into him and knock him out. Toby woke up to see that he was in an empty field with multiple logs laying against his sides and by a new who was made of wood and one of the soldiers threw a lighted match at Tubby. 
He screamed for hours as his flesh slowly melted away and his body was engulfed in flames. The Empire did this as an example to show what happened if you betrayed the Empire. He kept on talking with Percy and he told me of an old prophecy that was written a couple of hundred years ago in ancient Sodom. One day years from now a hero will be transported from another place, he will be the beacon of light in the darkness. Could I be this hero they spoke of as I do frighten me and just wanted to find a way to go home. I wondered if Gordon from the Amavis was alright. I still don't know for sure if he was brought with me to this other world or not. We arrived at Normandy, it was a pretty nice town. When he got out of Percy's cab, a group of rebels charged at me and started to threaten me with weapons of all sorts. I almost got thrown into a jail cell, but Percy managed to calm the rebels down and explain everything to them. They gave me food, water, a bed, and a roof over my head for the night, which I was very grateful for. I lay there in my bed, mentally preparing myself for the horrors of this world that await me. As my eyes slowly closed, I drifted off into a deep sleep, 